everyone, I wanted to demonstrate a few games we can play with our alphabet cards, which you're now to see on our website. Previously we had cards with a letter and a picture and, and a word. And now we've also got the cards with just the letter. And that's quite useful because it's the next step up. Um, so here's the game uh, you can play. And this is Slap. We've got one pack of cards for one player, another pack of cards for the other. This pack of cards has got just the letters and this pack of cards has got the letters and the images and the words. So first player will go I and the next will go D. And next they'll go B and they'll go B and of course it's snap and the first person to say snap will get the card and puts them at the bottom of their pack. And the winner is the person who has most cards and the other person uh, get, runs out of cards. So that's snap. Another game we can play is Hellmanism. And uh, here you have double uh, letters, so basically you have k without images and a and t without images, and you have the t with the a and the k uh, with the images, and you basically turn them over and ask the child to pick two cards, and they go k and k, and they get a pair, and they keep the pair, and the winner is the, the person with most pairs. So that's Helmanism. The last one I wanted to mention was simply using uh, both sets of cards and sticking them together. So on one side you have the picture f and fish and then if you flip it over you have the letter without the image. So you'd play it like this. You'd have to show this to the child and ask them to say the sound and then they flip it over and see if they're right. In order to do that you have to stick the letter upside down on the other card. Just one more mention is that if you're doing this with very beginner readers, you don't have to use all the letters in the pack. You can decide to use the first letter in whatever program you're using. Some programs like Sounds Like, which is what we use, uh, start with s at if m. Other programs start with s at p if n. And then you add a few more letters at a time, so it's not too much for the child to learn in one go. We hope you find this helpful.